yard line and no further. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Tampa after this timeout. The veteran Frank Gore stands alone in the backfield on second and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gore. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. And when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Here we go on four, Tannehill. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Mike Gesicki from three yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Winston now to throw on first down. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. First down, Winston. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. To the air again with Winston. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. From the red zone now, Winston. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Raquan McMillan. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Here's Tannehill. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Ryan Smith right there defensively. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Side complete to Parker. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. Eighty. 
The final shot here before the break. Tannehill. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Pro right side taken in by Godwin. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Play action now, Winston. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chain. A first down throw for Winston. Buying time to his left. Evans has it left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. First and ten, Winston. Jackson's got it over the middle. And down he goes, taking it inside the ten, just shy of the five at the six. 23 yards on the play. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game. And he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm, st I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders. And Deshaun Jackson made that big time. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans from six yards away. And the Bucs are able to strike for six. Now the point after try for Santos. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to seven. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken very short. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Tannehill and the Dolphins break the huddle. Come up first and 10 at their 38. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And this is Parker, complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. 
50-50. Here's Tannehill now on second down. Escape. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Vinny Curry in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. They'll roll them out right. And that is incomplete. Tannehill staying out there. They're going to go on fourth down. They are going for it. It's Tannehill into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Let's go. Hey, I want to kick. I want to kick. Let's go. Let's convert. Let's convert. Let's convert. Second down, Winston. Shedding the tackle. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. The Bucks on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 11. And now with the play clock almost to zero, Dirk Cutter's going to burn a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The Bucks on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 11. Jameis to throw it. Open man is gathered, and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. The first carry here for Jaquiz Rogers. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Jaquiz Rogers scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Santos with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Amendola catching it left side. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A very solid gain of 27. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. And it's caught here, Amendola. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Danny Amendola, 40 yards. And the Dolphins have got it back to a one-score game. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Bucks now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Jameis now on first down. And this is incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Ready, black, 22. Hey, five on the 50, five on the 50. Sonic. Five on, five on, five on. Throwing again, Winston on second and ten. That's complete, middle of the field to Humphreys. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. The reception good for seven, it's third down. Third and short yardage, Winston. And this is going to be incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. They're indeed going. It's Winston. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. He takes him down for a loss of nine. On first and ten, Tannehill. And his throw is going to be incomplete. How many times when we see an incomplete pass, we just look at the receiver and say, ah, should have caught that one. That was a drop, and we just put it on the offense. How about a little credit for the defense there? They just forced an incompletion. Yeah, especially after starting in a tough spot defensively, but a good start there on first down. That gave them a little extra confidence there, starting, as you said, in a tough spot and being able to make a play on first down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Hey, hey, 20, 20, 20, 20. Now it's Tannehill. That is caught inside the five. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Danny Amendola with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Sanders now to add the extra point. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good, and we are tied at 21. 
So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense they didn't pick up their end of the bargain so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence to throw is winston it's caught humphreys and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 the drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wait, 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 wait. Follow, follow, follow. You, you. Where's that? Winston now to throw on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jackson. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. the shotgun it's Winston over the middle he finds Godwin complete and they're well past midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40 fifth catch of the afternoon and that gives him a first down it's a nice completion a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got but it is so tough to cover that route the drag route because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defenders part always so empathetic for those DBs aren't you Throwing, Winston, and he finds Howard complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. To the air again with Winston. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Ready. Go away. Sonic. Here we go. Even, even. My 50, my 50. Again, it's Winston. This is caught by Jackson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 18 yards there and a first down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. On the ground, Rodgers. Man, this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Time for a break. 
We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. Play fake, Winston. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucks are going to take the lead. They do tack on the extra point as well. And they will take a seven point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Perry, the return. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And out come the Dolphins now. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, you, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do hey, hey. to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offense. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Noah Spence in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Brandon, you got to have some urgency here. You got to get the guys back to the line of scrimmage, but the problem is all 30 yards downfield after that play. Back to throw. And Andola's got it complete. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. That one goes for 24 yards. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Parker, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes. That's exactly it's what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send them after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. Now they go for it. 